In case you missed today's PlayStation experience, Glitchfeed has you covered. Let's spend the next few minutes recapping everything virtual reality that dropped today in the PSX keynote. Project Morpheus, Sony's ambitious virtual reality platform, was first introduced at GDC in 2014. Sony went into the VR market believing that this technology would shape the future of gaming. Combining the classic VR headset with the movement-tracking PlayStation camera, the tech was meant to provide a more immersive, presence-delivering product that would help you become part of your game. Since the announcement, we've seen panels and waited anxiously for a release date, and finally that window has arrived. With PlayStation's VR expected to drop in 2016, today we saw a big set of exclusive titles that will also be releasing with launch. They led with Res Infinite, a reintroduction of a title that came out in 2001. This game is about creating an atmosphere for gamers, and that is why they decided to throw it on the VR. It involves navigating through an abstract world, making music through your interactions with the environment, and living in the game through virtual reality technology. A classic concept for VR is flight. First-person movement through the open space that is the sky, and Ubisoft is delivering that experience with Eagle Flight. The multiplayer World Explorer takes you through the sky, the trees, and the caves of the world from the view of an eagle. Of course, VR titles can be entertainingly funny, especially those that take on a simulator feel. Job Simulator allows you to get your hands on the objects around the office and move in ways that a regular controller or keyboard wouldn't replicate. Or maybe you'd rather drive, which you can do with Modern Zombie Taxi Co., which looks like a spin of Crazy Taxi with the humor of Goat Simulator. As funny as those two games appear to be, 100-foot robot golf really takes the cake for humor. You are a 100-foot robot playing golf in a city, which means you are going to be running around destroying your way to the green. While you can play it without VR, really, this game seems perfect for the first-person perspective. In other announcements, we saw the beautiful work of Golem, which seems like a classic VR game. Put yourselves in the shoes of a golem and explore the world around you. That beauty was matched by the final announcement, which showed the classic aerial battles of the newest title in the Ace Combat franchise. If you missed the announcements, take the time to check out all the trailers floating around the web. You can check out both our live reaction and overviews to the rest of the keynote speech. And if you like what you see, let us know in the comments below or by making sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on the top gaming news each and every day.